KPIX 5's Wilson Walker on what regulators will be looking for. Marin County, just one of the places that went dark on October 9th, an outage that lasted three days. Well, those power shutoffs of October, now the subject of an official state investigation. The commission opens this investigation. We must also hold them accountable for their conduct. In the words of the PUC, they want to know if the shutoffs, quote, properly balanced the need to provide reliable service with public safety and were properly planned and executed, unquote. The findings could result in penalties. The commission has already asked PG&E why it should not be sanctioned for communications failures during the outages. Go online, you couldn't find anything. Call the number, number wouldn't, couldn't get through. Basically, we were sent back into the dark ages. We lost our electricity, our cell phones, could not get code red whatsoever, could not make a call out or text out. The mayor of Nevada City was just one of the elected officials at today's hearing. It brought me here to make sure that there's a face to what's going on to our local people here on the ground in Northern California. Lake County Supervisor Moke Simon was another, and while they applaud the unanimous vote to launch this investigation. Commissioner Randall? Aye. They say the real need is something in the way of a long-term solution. We want to make sure that we let them know just because the lights are on now, we know there's a problem and we need to work on a solution. In a statement, PG&E says it welcomes any feedback on how to improve safety or the power shutoff process. The results of this investigation are due by the second week of January. In Sausalito, Wilson Walker, KBX5.